When designing an authority and control within the organization, one of the concepts that we have to consider is called the span of control and that is going to be the topic of this video. It's a very straightforward and simple idea, though you will see how important and crucial it is for us. So what is the span of control? Is the number of subordinates a manager directly manages, so a number of subordinates. So if we would draw, let's say, two managers, so this is our manager A and this is our manager B, now they have certain amount of subordinates. Let's say that this manager is going to have one, two, three, four, five, six subordinates. Let me just finish my drawing six subordinates and this manager is going to have just two subordinates one and two so what is the span of control of these two managers well this manager is, is overseeing or, or monitoring six managers so uh, six subordinates so the span of control in this case is six this manager is uh, monitoring two subordinates so the span of control is Two. Now, why is this so important? Why is it so important uh, uh, that, that, or what makes so big difference between two and six subordinates? Well, think about it this way. If we would draw, if we would draw three people, one, two, and three, so this is person A, this is person B, and this is person C. Now, how many relationships are among them? We have first relationship, then we have second relationship and now we have third relationship. So among three people, three relationships exist. And if I were a manager, I would have to manage these three relationships. Now, let's add just one more person. A, B, C and D. So we have A, B, C and D. D. And let's see how many relationships we have now. We have first relationship, second relationship, third one, fourth one, then we have fifth one right over here. This is the fifth relationship and this is the sixth relationship. So we have added just one more person. So we increase the span of control just by one and look at look at how many more relationships the manager who is potentially monitoring these employees has to manage instead of three relationship the manager has to oversee six relationships and that is the big difference that is why is this span of control so important for us now how should we decide it's not like you know you come to the organization and say hey you are going to have six subordinates and you are going to have just two no there are certain rules that we should follow well the first rule is that we are looking at the complexity of tasks complexity of subordinates tasks subordinates subordinates tasks well, imagine that this right over here on the left is our production department where the tasks are quite simple, you can say. So on one hand, we can have some simple and let's say similar tasks, uh, similar tasks. And then we have, let's say that this is our research department research department where where you can imagine the tasks are very complex and this similar this similar how is this influencing our span of control when you have a simple and similar tasks like within the production department when where you are just producing and manufacturing which is quite quite simple you can have a large span of control as in this case so you can have large span of control on the other hand if we have a research department where well, let's say one subordinate is, is researching cancer treatment and another subordinate is researching some biomedical techniques. Then you can imagine that for a manager, it will be really hard to monitor these two uh, subordinates. So in this case, we are going to have a small span of control. Now, the second factor that is influencing us when deciding about the span of control is the relatedness of the tasks. And I hope I will not do a grammatical mistake. Relatedness of tasks, of tasks. Now, if you would imagine that, let's say you have two employees, this is one employee and this is another employee. Now, this guy is producing something. So he's creating some product. 
and if this product is an input for another your subordinate product so it's an input and the second guy has to always wait for for this product that means that their tasks are really related and in that case you should really have a small span of control so for instance in this case let's say that that their tasks are very related and they have to cooperate a lot you should have a small span of control now why is this so useful well if you imagine uh quite often you are going to see organizations drawn as a pyramid and span of control is exactly telling us why we have uh, organizations drawn this way so let's make few hierarchical levels one two three one two three and let's say one more so on the top let's say there is just one ceo then we have two divisional managers then we have uh, six let's say we have six uh, some regional managers and then we have 24 then we have 24 functional managers and after all we have 144 members of the workforce well what are going to be the spans of control according to these two rules we have just we have just learned you can imagine that the the complexity of of subordinate tasks is increasing as we are going up the hierarchy because the ceo has to oversee let's say the wall division or, or the wall divisional managers work for um uh, i don't know medical research and another divisional manager is responsible for producing food maybe so the the tasks are really complex and maybe they are even related and that's why on the top of the hierarchy we have the span of control uh, the span is going to be just two but then as we are decreasing or, or going down in our hierarchy both the complexity of subordinate tasks and their relatedness might be decreasing so we can actually increase the span of control make it larger so in this case the span of control is free because two managers are overseeing six people now from six we are moving to 24 which means span of control is four and finally this span of control is going to be six so you can see that usually it is this way that as you are going down the hierarchy within the organization your span of control is going to increase because of the simple rules we have just introduced ourselves